everyone and thanks for tuning in another smelly battle this time it's gonna be between two zoologist perfumes and uh, I want to compare the original bat to the bat 2020 release because I have both and I'm a fan of one but not so much the fan of another so in this video I want to tell you where are the differences what can you expect from the new edition because I believe that the original bat is discontinued and uh, so if you want to find out everything about that then please keep on watching but before we get started I wanted to remind you to follow me on my social media such as Instagram and Facebook because I do post a lot about perfumes there and we can really easily chat over there as well as on Patreon so all the helpful links you'll find down below as well as links to my previous reviews on Zoologist perfumes and in case you're familiar with both variations of bat let me know which one do you prefer so with that being said I have two fragrances right here and uh, I want to start with the original bat and by the way they do look the same so I don't want to confuse them so I will just keep the original one in the um, box how do you call it um, that it came in and it was created by Alan Covey I don't really know how to pronounce the name of the perfumer in 2015 and I really remember how I first tried a bat it was when I received a sample pack of all zoologist perfumes and uh, I sprayed it on myself and went to my boyfriend's and I just couldn't stand its scent so after that uh, wearing I put it into the shelf and kind of forgot it until the um, new one came out and I was really really afraid of it because you know people have really different reactions on bat to some it smells amazing and um, it's just like their jam and to others it's like the scariest scent ever and I was in a group of the laters but the thing is I kind of changed my mind a little bit because I wore it today again and the thing that I don't like about the original bat is actually what a lot of people love and that's the opening so in the opening I smell really vividly the note of earth and fruits and that is just a very very strange combination to me personally not that I am not a fan of uh, something avant-garde like to combine very polarizing notes that you wouldn't necessarily put together but just like earth is not my thing i don't like earthy elements in the perfumery if something smells like earth like real soil you know like you're walking after the rain and you can smell uh, the ground i don't like that in the perfumery at all and I get a lot of that in the original bat, particularly in the opening. And I couldn't pass <laughs> that opening because it smells literally like rotten bananas. Like bananas that are old and black. I, I don't like that vibe. But other than that, we have um, different notes. And uh, once you pass that opening, you can actually experience resins and uh, animalic vetiver, which is pretty cool, particularly in the last stage of the development, because it's pretty strong on me. So lovers of dirty, earthy vetiver will definitely enjoy that with uh, sparkles of fruits all throughout it. But um, that's my impression of the original bat, which is actually an award-winning perfume because it won Art and Olfaction Awards uh, in 2015 for the best indie fragrance. Um, and it was reformulated by Prinlom Rose, who is one of my favorite indie perfumers, and I have reviewed so many of his fragrances, if not all. Definitely check out our interview with him, and the link is going to be on the screen. But yeah, Prin reformulated bat, and he also created another perfume, Sloth for zoologist and I have review on both so that link is gonna be in the description box for you as well but let me tell you how the newest uh, version of bat smells so basically I was really like a little bit scared to smell the earth again and when I first smelled it I kind of got it but not as obviously it was not as pungent and straightforward into your face as in the original bed it's just a bit smoother and the fruitiness 
is um, a bit bolder and it's juicier. So bananas are well pronounced in the original bed and in here we have more of a exotic passion fruit and guava which you can smell for sure and later the fragrance really changes into something gorgeously animalic particularly in the dry down but it still has that beautiful almost smoky juicy citrusy fruitiness going on so i am a big fan of the new bat because earth is really like you know almost not there and i think that might be what uh, the lovers of the original bat don't really like about it but to me it's definitely way more wearable way more enjoyable and it just speaks to my personal uh, taste um so for that reason i think that almost like that alcoholy twist um something boozy and something sexy uh, makes the winner for me and on that note i want to ask my boyfriend what he thinks about both fragrances so how about it? so let's ask my boyfriend you like zoologist, right? Oh, I like zoologist, right? <laughs> Not everything, but you have Not a few favorites. A few, just a few. I suppose bat doesn't count to them. It doesn't count to my favorites. <laughs> no, absolutely not. I'm sorry. But you know, I decided to do a comparison between these two because it might be a surprise for you, but a lot of people liked the original bat, which okay. I don't understand, but. Um, Bat was definitely one of the craziest fragrances I've ever tried. So, um, I want to show you the original bat next to the new bat. New bat. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll tell us what do you think. Ready for that? I am ready for that. Do you want to spray them? I have to on? spray them to give my honest opinion, don't I? Cool, okay. you're very brave. So, this yeah. is the new one, it goes on your left. left. And this is intense, rare stuff oh, 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 that people can't oh, 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 oh. find any more. Can you, can you, yeah, so they see that I really sprayed. Oh my okay. gosh, it will be on all night. I don't know how oh. I will stand it. So, this one is really dirty, heavy, Whoa. very masculine. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't prefer a woman to wear this one. I, I agree with you. Okay, and this one? <laughs> this is the original. <laughs> it's like a killer. They're both very dirty and strong and <laughs> overwhelming and nose. masculine and uh, right now... Uh, this one is maybe a little bit sweeter. I don't know why. Right. It seems the original. Bit, it seems sweeter than this one. That surprises me and so And I like much. this this one more, so the original what? one. What? <laughs> Are you kidding me? No. That's crazy. I'm shocked that you prefer the original. For, for the first moment, yeah. I don't know how it will be in an hour or two, but uh, right now I... You think that... Would rather recommend this one. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Too bad you can't find the original bed anymore. I'm sorry. <laughs> but in my personal opinion, this one wins because it's just a bit more pleasant and the dirt is not as straightforward once again and the juiciness in it is pretty playful so yeah to me like i can wear i actually like to have the new bat on me so this is like something very pleasant from victor wong <laughs> but you know if you have the original bed, then good for you, enjoy it, don't spray too much so you won't run out of it, you know, and yeah, Benny, thank you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome, guys. So guys, here we have our impressions on the original and new bed, and I hope you don't mind I invited Benny to share his thoughts on these perfumes, because in my opinion, it's always better to know what other people think of that perfume that reviewer is describing because fragrance is so subjective and uh, maybe something that I like you won't like but you know if it sounds interesting to you you should give it a go as you should try these if you like dirty fragrances and when I'm in the mood for something dirty but not animalic dirty as I usually like but like dirty dirty I will definitely reach for the bad 2020 because once again i don't like to repeat myself but this is a winner for me just because it's juicier brighter it doesn't smell like a 
fruity storage in the basement, although there is that uh, soil earthiness, but it's not as straightforward and annoying and challenging as in this one. But you know, people have different opinions on these two perfumes and uh, I would like to know what you think of them. If you have any experience, go ahead and share it in the comments. And on that note, thank you so much for watching and if you like these smelly battles, make sure to like this video by giving it a thumbs up so I know that you want to see more and if you have any ideas or requests let me know them in the comments and thank you so much for being here make sure to stay tuned smell good have a nice day and we'll see each other next one really soon bye guys